Today's question is the best question among those which can be solved in one minute. Let's check this interesting question. Given to us is a circle and a rectangle and the sides of the rectangle are tangent to the circle and one vertex lies on the circle. The two point where the circle is tangent are joined by this black cord and from that vertex which lies on the circumference a perpendicular is drawn and the length of this perpendicular is given as 5 cm. Using this limited data we have to find the area of rectangle. To solve question we will use alternate segment theorem which states that in a circle the angle formed between a chord and the tangent from one end of the chord that is this angle alpha will be same as angle formed by the chord in the remaining part of the alternate segment. Proof of the theorem is provided in video number 156. For those interested, I will provide a link in the description. Let's check the solution. Let's start by assuming the length of rectangle as L cm and the breadth as B cm. Let's join CF and assume it to be X cm and also join CE and take it as Y cm. Now with respect to the green circle, the length AB is a tangent and CE is a chord. So applying alternate segment theorem, the angle between the chord and the tangent that is this angle alpha, then the angle suspended by the chord that is this angle F that will also be alpha degrees. Same way if we look at DA, this is tangent to the circle and FC this is a chord to the circle and the angle between them if this is beta then by alternate segment theorem the angle subtended by CF on the alternate segment will also be beta degrees and thus this angle here will be beta degrees. Now if you look at the triangle CFG and triangle CEB here they have got angle alpha is there and 90 degree angle is there. So by angle angle similarity the triangles are similar to each other and thus the ratio of side will be equal. So we can say that CF upon CG will be CE upon CB. So putting the values here CF is your X and CG is 5, CE is Y and CB is B. So we will get this relation here doing the cross multiplication we will get x upon y is 5 upon b. Same way if you look at the triangle CGF and triangle CDF. So this triangle CGE and CDF we have got angle beta is there and both are 90 degrees. So by angle angle similarity the triangles are similar and thus ratio of corresponding sides will be equal. Putting the values here CG is 5 and CE is Y and this is L and X. So 5 by Y is L upon X. Doing cross multiplication taking X on the other side and Y on the other side we get X upon Y is L upon 5. So here both the values LHS is equal X upon Y is 5 by B and XY by is L by 5 and thus these values will be equal or we can say that 5 upon B is L upon 5. Doing cross multiplication we get 25 is L times B. But L times B is what is area of rectangle and thus area of rectangle is 25 centimeter square. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then tata bye bye.